226 to go in the first half. Brad leads White 14 to nothing, and Lee is leading the drive as Fleming makes the catch. That's Copeland, as Mason says. Mason, what do you make of Copeland so far? Yeah, he's a legitimate, you know, SEC thousand yard receiver. You can see it in show right now. He's dominating this game to this point. Torrey uh, still, you can hear him. Third and seven. Disappointed with the way that he's matching up against him. And just some, some miscommunications from the white defense is the way I put it. You can hear him on the field trying to fix that. You can hear him from the coaching staff, Wes Neighbors and Lance Thompson on both of the different sidelines today. Have been quite, uh, you know, calling out their signals and, and trying to get things right to them. At this point, in this point, we'd like to see them a little bit further along than I think we've seen today, but they've settled down into this game, and as Leah trots off, as it looks like Matt's going to have a punt team again. Four and so, seven from the 50. As the game settled in a little bit, the white defense has stepped up. Marty still leading for the white team. Olden Spangler in punt formation for the red team. It's still 14 0, red over white. 139 to go in the fourth. Spangler to our left. Uh, who's back for the black team? Yeah, it looks like Tarif still, who's sporting that number four jersey uh, this year for the Terps, is back for them. Dante Trader taking over 12 this year on Maryland's defense. And there's a fair catch at the 12 yard line right, for the white team. Catch. And Eric Najarian, former of Damatha. Played in that one game for Maryland against Rutgers at the end of the COVID season. It's like having a coach on the field. We'll see if he's like having a quarterback on the field here in a moment as he tries to lead the white team to a score before the half. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer, get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. And at times he's shown the ability to do that. I definitely think that he is Maryland's second quarterback. If they have to go Very well, well here you go, quarterback the for the white team. Here late in the cycle before the fall. Uh, Terps seeing a couple more departures today. I'm sure we'll see some additions on defense here before the fall season. Uh, looks like some injuries today, holding a couple guys out that are definitely going to play big roles. So, uh, Kite has been out on the sideline. Gote is out on the sideline today. Mason Lunsford also not dressed today. Rockin' Jared is being held out of action. He's in full pads, though, on the way. Colby McDonald carries. And also, we saw out there number seven, Dante Demas. Doesn't quite work in game play, but it looks like he's on the way. Yeah, both Jay Sean Jones and Don Dante Demas dressed today, participated in warm-ups. Demas actually doing some quarterback. Jarian floats the ball with a big fullback. That's the first time Maryland's had a fullback in a few years, Mason. Who's number yeah, 35? Yeah, not listed on either team's roster today, but a guy that's gotten a lot of time out there. He's from St. Francis. He came in as a tight end fullback. Hybrid for the Terps. And, and a guy that I think some will step into a fill-up a nice role. Third and four. Guy. From the 19. coming out of the backfield because he played tight end at St. Francis. Uh, and a guy that, you know, when Maryland lines up and, and they need a yard, you can either give Burns the ball or have him lead block for Antoine Littleton. I'm pretty sure he'll be set. Here's a carry by, is that Hemby or McDonald? Over the 25 to 26 with 57 seconds oh, left. McDonald, it's McDonald. And 56 seconds left. It's a first down. That's enough for a one team. First down. Right, Dragon drops, fires over the middle. He's got the tight end number 19. Wolf. To the 41, and here comes the white team offense. Pass complete to Weston Wolf, the tackle by yeah, right there, There's been plenty that you can point out in the field, but that's one spot where the, the safety linebacker drive for Shane Mosley, that's one who's got to step back, take some steps, and then drive on that ball. It's, it's a lightly thrown deep route across the middle. McDonald gets enough for another Maryland first down to stop the clock. 31 seconds left. And now an actual timeout by the white team, and we'll be back in a moment. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. 
The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. First and 10, 47 yard line, 31 seconds left. Majorian takes the snap, loops it to McDonald. 50 to the 45 to the 40. Seconds left. Stops, guns it. He's got your fullback. <laughs> and we get to the 30 to 29. And a timeout for the white team. It's an impressive drive. So far, we have to figure out if we want to score a touchdown. We kick a field goal. You have 13 seconds left for what I think is one timeout. So we look at the white huddle. Something today, and the jury are doing it all in a short passing game. Yeah, and, and this side of the ball for Maryland is not, not as strong as the receiver. He has a run from Smith and a handful of walk offs rotating through. And it's really important for those professionals in that sense. So these guys want to draw those guys to work if they want to get something going against this red defense. But as far as a two minute defense from Maryland, they've been sitting back way too much. They gave up way way too much time to this offense and that's something that that you know we've, we've seen in the past and something that Loxley's talked about improving and, and we'll get to see it here because you don't want to give him a touchdown here you want to try to force that field goal attempt. Smith to the near side, the Giants the quarterback, McDonald's the tailback, he looks towards Smith, now throws it to McDonald and that's close enough to take a field goal to 14. We'll see who gets that opportunity. There's five seconds left, and that is the last white team timeout. And it is Howells who was speaking about him a moment ago. 91 comes on to kick it. Uh, here's something a little bit newer, a number zero for the Terps on the blocking end of this side is a former walk-on. Did he end up winning walk-on of the year? It's Greg Rose who's wearing the zero and the, uh, the nearest blocker to us. Howell in to try the attempt. Ball is down, kick is up. It's good. And that will end the half. It's 14 to three. Of course, Maryland leads. Spread over the white.